Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies, a place where you can get your life. Now, all of my new beginners and new subscribers in today's video, not only will I showcase my Thelenopsis orchids, but I will showcase all of the orchids that I have had before this last haul that I am going to show you in an upcoming video. Stay tuned. Now, foul pals, this is not an update video. What this is is showcasing the orchids that I've had in my care since I've been growing. Now, we are going to start with the genres of orchids, okay? The first one up is a Pathiopetalum that all of my old foul pals is very familiar with. I named her after Jan. Jan is the wife of Rick L. This I got from my last Alabama orchid um, show and um, show and sell. I'm sorry, foul pals. And this is Hung Shang Bay time Hung Shang Ruby Honey Pathiopetalum. If you would like to see what she looked like in bloom, go to my um, Pathiopetalum videos, okay? Five don'ts that you don't want to do with Pathiopetalums. Now, if you would like an accurate update on Jan, you will have to stay tuned. Next up on the list is a cat Leia that I've had over a year as well. Okay, I grow it in a clay pot. And this is the name of that um, cat Leia, Feather Ray Misty Blue. I have never had her to bloom for me. However, I am ever so hopeful. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next up on the list is going to be my Phalaenopsis species, okay? Now, these were purchased from my Orchid Hall from Redlands. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will leave a info card above. That's where I met my dear foul pal, um, Maria Young, and Orchid Diva, and also Carlos. Now, right here, you have my foul Sogo Yenlin coffee with the variegated leaves right there. You also have my beautiful Phalaenopsis Chelerania Wilson, okay? I believe Foul Pal Todd has one of these. Who doesn't? You should absolutely get one for your collection. Stay tuned. So, next up on the list is going to be my oldest Phalaenopsis orchid that I absolutely got from a big box store and not an orchid nursery. So this is gonna be one of those just add ice orchids. As I said, this is not a update video, just simply showing you my oldest orchids. I've had this orchid for about eight months. If you would like to see the um, when I first purchased this orchid, honey, I will leave an info card only if you ask. <laughs> Stay tuned. So next up, Fell Pals, is going to be what I love the most out of the orchid community. And that is going to be Kiki's Baby Orchids and Miniature Phalaenopsis Orchids, okay? <laughs> yes, honey, yes. This is what I live for. Um, this right here was given to me by Orchid Diva. As I said, this isn't an update video, simply just a display of my collection. This right here was given to me by my physician as a rescue um, orchid. This right, these two right here was given to me by a dear foul pal from my local orchid society. They were two cuttings off of the mother plant. And this right here is going to be a dendrobium cutting that I had um, propagated into a closed container. Stay tuned, foul pals. Are you liking this video or not? Now, this darling right here was sent to me from foul pal Danielle as a rescue orchid. And this is just so dear to my heart, this um, beautiful Phalaenopsis right here. Um, she has grown just so drastically in my care. She's working on her third leaf in my care. Um, these roots, she had only um, one or two roots and she just really took off in my care. So I just wanted to give her her own display, honey, her own display. This is definitely um, my favorite miniature Phalaenopsis orchid at the time. Okay, Foul Pals. So now the sequence of orchids, which are going to be Phalaenopsis, 
are going to be the ones that were sent to me this year. Now, as many of you know, I lost a lot of my Phalaenopsis orchids last winter due to the last, uh, I meant the low humidity and the over fertilization. Now, Fal Pal Danielle was the first one to reach out and bless me with orchids. They were sick at the time, but they are very much um, accustomed to their new living environment. I just love this purple, beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. She is doing just fine in my care. This is another one. This was, um, this is Fal Pal Indiana. I mean, yeah, that's his name. Um, this orchid is called Fal Pal, and this one is called Indiana. Um, this one is the first orchid to bloom for me. This is the first orchid that I successfully grew in water culture. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave an info card above, baby. Stay tuned. Now, Fal Pal is just a reminder. This is not an update video, okay? So, first up is my Phalaenopsis that I got from Fal Pal Brian. And that's also going to be the name of this beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, Brian has a channel on YouTube called Orchids and Beekeeping. I suggest you check him out. His channel um, is centers around people in, Bur in Alabama, such as I am, okay? Now, these blooms are fading, but they were so beautiful and they lasted so long. Now, this darling over here was sent to me from Fal Pal Blanca. Now, if you guys would like to see that video, I will leave an info card above. Yes, ma'am. Orchid Diva Blanca sending me a heavenly gift, honey. A heavenly gift. Now, this Phalaenopsis right here actually has a name. Okay. This is a Phalaenopsis Hoogly Boogly Venus. Okay. Sunrise Star times some other stuff okay this is orchids for dummies this is not that other channel now foul pals this one right here is going to be a no name a no name id phalaenopsis orchid stay now foul pals these are my phalaenopsis orchids that i received as a gift from my local nursery in a different city um it's called oak street garden shop now, if you would like to see what they look like, I do have a video, which is a tour. It's my inspirational care package. This is all of the four um, orchids that they sent me. Well, not sent me, but they gave me. These are also the Phalaenopsis that I use for various experiments because they are not my favorites. Now, anytime that you have um, Phalaenopsis that you hold dear and true to, you do not want to do any crazy stuff to it, like doing crazy fertilizing and changing the watering regime. No, you want to get you a Phalaenopsis that you don't have any connection to that you can experiment on. Never doing anything crazy or supercilious. Just something like adding a little bit more Epsom salt. Try it out on your testing Phalaenopsis orchids before you put it on your beloveds. Stay wow. tuned. These are my Phalaenopsis orchids from Redlands. Okay, starting with this no-name Phalaenopsis right here. And this is my favorite, favorite, um, um, grown size or mature size Phalaenopsis that I named Maria. She just dropped her last few blooms this week. She had been in bloom forever. She is such a big, humonga dunga Phalaenopsis orchid. And I am going to do everything that I can to make sure that she thrives in my care. Okay? Yes, there were three orchids that I received from my orchid haul video. I will leave an info card above, but I will show you the next one, but you gotta stay tuned. Ma'am, honey, I had to start this one from the bottom and work my way up because, honey, I told y'all just because y'all don't see me does not mean mama is not out here doing what she needs to do. Now, this I am very proud of. This is my Phalaenopsis Venus, the same one that Orchid Diva sent me, but I received this one from eBay, and it was in double spike. I did break off one of the spikes, but honey, honey, 
the other spike I do believe I did well by. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You see it. Yes, ma'am. Let's go in for a close-up. <laughs> this is the Phalaenopsis that I chose to name Betty. Now, as you can see, she is a humongadonga as well. That's the only thing I don't like about the Phalaenopsis orchids is that they can get very, very large. Now, um, this is um, a spike that I did and controlled myself. This is the waterfall illusion, and I did this all on my own. You can tell because that petal is messed up. But, Fal Pals, I would definitely um, show you guys how to train your flower stalks um, to create this beautiful display. But she is still in her blooming cycle. So, once all of the buds are out and, start, and she starts to bloom, honey, you know the video will be coming soon. Stay tuned. Now, Fal Pals, I will do a houseplant tour all on its own. But I had to show my beautiful pothos because she has been with me since my very first video. This is my very first house plant that was given to me by my mom. Um, I definitely wanted um, you guys to see a chance of all of the, get a chance to see all of the new growth that I have. Um, I don't even think the camera would allow me to show you all of her hang time. This is hang time, hang time. Hang time. So, yes, honey, yes. Um, just because I don't talk about all of my orchids and plants, honey, does not mean that mama is over here killing them. No, ma'am. What I'm doing is focusing on Phalaenopsis orchids, which are the hardest orchids to grow. Stay tuned. Okay, pal, pal. So, this is my orchids outside. I'm sorry you never got a chance to see my outdoor set up, honey. I'm sorry. Mama been on the highways and byways. But this is my Catlia Blanca that I got from Bradlands. This is the name of it. Okay, do the best that you can. It has some beautiful red and orange-like blooms. This is my Uncidium from the first Alabama Orchid show. Um, I am about to throw her out. I am done with her, and I am done with um, Uncidiums or anything with pseudobulbs. This is um wildcat golden red star yes god now this darling right here where the mosquitoes cause so much hell and turmoil this is my phalaenopsis nina that i got from redlands as well as i said it's not an update video just letting you know how i am growing and how i am learning as well this is my dendrobium um, Angel Love Vivid. Okay, I got this early this year in January, February. It is a cakey maker. I'm talking about cakey's galore, honey. Now, my foul pals have already claimed the cakey, so please don't anyone ask me for a cake, a kiki, honey. They have been claimed. Okay. This is my Phalaenopsis. Um, I put a scarecrow out here, honey, because the um, birds, they still, even now, <laughs> come and pull the moss out of the basket and dump it on the ground, honey. That's what they are doing. But this is my Vanda, honey. You will have to stay, stay tuned for the update, honey, because great things happening for my orchids outside. This is another um, dendrobium, no name. I did not care about it at all. And as you can see, honey, good things coming. Good things happening over here at Orchids for Dummies, darling. This is my Kiki. I'm sorry, my Kiki um, that I dropped on the floor. I brought it indoors and dropped it on the floor. And um, she has stopped growing leaves or whatever they grow but she is definitely still growing roots. Now, Fal Pals, this is all of my orchids. The rest of them, you will have to stay tuned for an update, honey, or stay tuned for my orchid haul video. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned as always. I'ma let the bird tell you. Until next time.